What's up guys, it's Mike from Jersey Connect and today I'm going to do something a little different. So usually when I film intros, I have to cut bits and pieces, piece them together to make it look kind of like cohesive. So today I'm just going to keep one shot, no edits, and just keep all the mistakes. <laughs> so I ended up picking up the Damian Lillard Portland Trail Blazer Statement Jersey from a couple years ago. So um, it's this one right over here. It's the red version. So Statement jerseys now have the Jordan brand, so it's a little older, and this thing still has Nike Connect. I bought it from Dick Sporting Goods for around 80 something bucks. So they have a rewards program at Dick Sporting Goods, and you spend enough money, they send some like coupons, and I got like $30 off. So why not pick this up? So I ended up picking this up, and you kind of get a first look at this. You got Dame Lillard. Great for anybody who is a Dame fan. I mean, I actually never bought it, so hey, this is my opportunity. So in today's video, what I'm gonna do is unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details. Maybe you wanna pick one up yourself because Dick's Sporting Goods still has a couple of these, I believe, at the time of recording, medium to maybe XL. So if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel, just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when I drop new videos, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Starting off at the collar, you have the rib material, so it's red, and at the base of the collar, you get that black colorway, and on the arm openings, you get the same style as well. And since it's a swingman jersey, you're gonna have everything heat pressed on. So the NBA logo, heat pressed. Then you got Damian Lillard. So right over here, heat pressed lettering. Just a white base, nice and plain. And when we go to the zero, so you got the white base, but you get black trim. And then when we kind of see on the back side, you can kind of see the side panel here, but we'll check that out separately. And then the retail tag, since this is an older run, they have it on the arm openings instead of the collar. So standard fit, NBA authentic, the dry fit tag, and Dick Sporting Goods 110 even though I bought it for cheaper. And that right there, guys, is the back of the jersey. And on the flip side, you got the same color sequence, black base, well, it's kind of like 50-50. And then the arm openings, same style. And on the neck label, you got dry fit, NBA, large, made in Guatemala. So that's sublimated on. And look at this Nike swoosh. It really pops on the red, nice and heat pressed. Then we got Portland across the chest. So you got Portland, white letter base, all heat pressed. And then the numbering, you got the same style as well. Right over here, we have two separate polyester pieces that run across the whole jersey diagonally. And right over here, the first layer, you got that white piece that goes throughout. And on the Second part, you got the black base right here. Same jersey material, but they have something like heat pressed onto it. It's like, you can see right here. So that's actually heat pressed on. It has like a rubbery kind of like sticky finish. I don't know how I feel about that one. And then right down here, it's an older model. So it still has Nike Connect, has that microchip swingman, the Nike Connect tag. And that right there, guys, is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So I'm 5'6", 175 pounds. This is a size large. So I usually go in between a medium or a large. Medium is form-fitting. This one gives me a little more relaxed fit. There's a little more length than the medium, just a tad bit. But you can see more relaxed fit, more chest room. But I plan to wear this maybe under a hoodie or I don't know. I don't know if I wear red like that too much. It's just not in my color repertoire, but maybe if I do wear it under a hoodie. But right here, we got the front of the jersey. And then you got the side panel. You can see how it kind of, that separate polyester piece just runs across like a seat belt. And then you can see it up here. It starts up here on this side, but it's pretty blank on everything else. And then you got the back of the jersey. You got Dame Lillard. Where'd it go? And that's pretty much the jersey. I really like the jersey concept. 
just because it kind of goes away from the traditional like white or black jersey base that Portland usually wears. So this one, you got that red base and then you still get those hints of white and black. The one thing, I, I don't know how I feel about it on this jersey. You know, the thing that they heat press on, it kind of has like a rubbery kind of like texture. I'm kind of scared like it'll kind of like rub off on the jersey like if it gets washed maybe not once but a whole bunch of times maybe it'll start to wear and you know the color might kind of fade onto something else i don't know i'm just i have a weird feeling about this one i don't know other than that i still think it's a really dope jersey i just kind of wish i had like the newer runs of these statement jerseys i mean these older runs a couple seasons ago nike were was the sponsors for these so going forward jordan brand has their like you got the Jumpman logo and the Jumpman stuff all over the jersey. So, I mean, it's still dope. I like it, but I kind of want the Jordan one. I think it looks cooler. What do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks again for watching, and on to the next video. I'm going to keep stepping back.